very dark. Okay. So, Kate, talk about the fact that you have pursued your artistic goals your whole life. You haven't really been concerned with making a living. You've been an artist, a real artist, always. Well, I, I can tell you, maybe if you achieve your goals, might be a good idea. Otherwise, it really feels kind of like a wasted fucking life. Kate, well, don't say that. Otherwise, I would have been going out, going to parties. You went to parties all the time. Networking. I didn't go for fun. Children. That's what I really miss, is not having a children. You yes. know that thinking this way is why you are so depressed. That may be, but you wanted me to talk about how I feel? This is how I feel. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, I'm gonna hook you. <sighs> okay, good. Hank, would you link to some of those TED Talks about how one person can save the world? I tell you, much as I love them, they sure sent me down the bunny trail. Okay. So wait, is she saying no? Don't pursue your passion? <laughs> She's just depressed. I think it's about movie meeting house. What's movie meeting house? Her attempt to change the movie industry single-handedly. Oh. At the end of every summer, Kate and I had a ritual. After the audience had faded away, we would enter the theater and stand at the top of the aisle and slowly start walking down the aisle, singing when you walk through a storm to the empty house. I'm sorry, that took absolutely everything out of me. I'm, I'm sorry if you didn't like it. It's not about that. This movie, this is going to be about you being <sighs> positive and brave. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart. I don't have the energy for that. <sighs> okay. Let me see, let me see. What are we gonna do about this? We're gonna get you some speed. I mean, sure, it's not good for you, but it'll get you out of bed. And if you're dying anyway, what difference does it make whether it's good for you? And you'll never walk alone. You to know a great doctor, do you? What about Dr. Kildare? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, I know she's kind of a quack, but everybody on the vineyard loves her. Oh, oh, I... Okay, Dr. Kildare, we had a TV show when we were young that we watched called Dr. Kildare. Okay. So, you must be a little bit confused by this process? I gotta admit, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, well, one thing for sure, Kate is not dying. We're kind of pretending that she is for the film, but she's not dying. But here's the thing, what do I cut to? Excuse me? Like, I understand what type of shoot this is, and we don't really know what the movie's about, but we have all these cameras all over, People go out of focus, they have to stay in frame. I just, I don't know what I can cut to. Well, you know, you can always go back and shoot insert shots and stuff. Like, I can go back later and get a shot of a room or a coffee cup, anything, really. Right? Yeah, you could, or an apple. Yeah, or an apple. Hmm. Uh, yes, is this Dr. Kildare's office? Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I'm a new patient. I'd like to make an appointment. 